What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for uh, Chopper. Good morning. Happy Thursday, August 15th in the sports world. Baseball rolls on. College football draws closer. A lot of soccer on schedule, and we're here to look at it all. Put a bet on the board and get our day started. I want to welcome you into the channel. All things betting from tools to picks to process. We've got a lot of different types of content. Take a look around. See what you think. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. Don't miss out. 140,000, nearly 140,000 subscribers. Don't miss out on all this content yesterday. We've been on the magma run. The only thing that could stop it would be the Atlanta Braves. And boy, did they stop it. Uh, I turned the game on only a couple minutes late and Robbie Way wasn't in the game. That gives you kind of a glimpse of what happened last night with the Giants. I'm a big advocate. If you're going to lose, that's the way to lose. An absolute beatdown. Complete swing and miss. You don't lose more for, for being wrong by 10 runs. Uh, it's all the same. So we move on. No big deal. Right back to the board today. I do want to mention, of course, again, I, I give one pick out and one pick out on this very video. But if you're looking for more, come on into Odd Chopper. Obviously, the marketplace is here. You can find who works for you. We're adding people daily. I'm right there. I would love for you to be part of my community. And when you join, make sure you hop in the Discord. You get all these channels from me. We have a great group in there. This is where you can see the plays. Of course, they're available on the app as well. We've got so much good stuff going on, though. Again, come in for the week, check it out, see if it works for you. It's a really fun group, and obviously, uh, I put my name behind it because I, I really enjoy doing it. It's a real, real good time. Let's get to the board. Enough of this. You see it on the screen. Look at that. I already dropped this, and that's part of the reason of the value. You can get it earlier and earlier. I like the Phillies today, and I am going to lay the run and a half. I try not to make a habit of doing this where you're laying a run and a half at home, but it's, again, it really doesn't matter. It's all about the number. Uh, I would never do this if I didn't have the right number, and I would do it every time if I thought I had the right number. Minus 128 is the right number for me. You could see why this could be a little problematic. It's an eight-run total, and you're at home. So you better do your damage at some point. Runs could be at a premium, and we have to win the game by two or more. But I think they can do just that. We've got the Nats coming to town here, a 55-66 and 66 team, 27-34 away from their ballpark. Mitchell Parker on the mound, 6-6 six and six with a – not bad, honestly. When I dug in, I wasn't like blown away with the 3.83. That's not terrible. Starts to a road, though. Two and four with a 4.78 on the road. 257 opponent batting average. 7.89 in July. He had a rough July. Now, to his credit, he had two August starts, and they were both great. So maybe he's found something, and he's kind of righted the ship here, sprint to the finish style, or maybe not. Uh, this is no easy task for him going against the Phillies lineup on the road i do think and they will get to this guy uh and give us an opportunity to have a chance with zach wheeler on the mound 11 and 5 with the 2.78 2.48 at home opponent batting average of 187 this is what i'm talking about ace on the mound knows what he's doing he should give us a quality start he sets the table for these bats the phillies are the phillies they're 70 and 50 they're 39 and 22 at home they were on a pretty long road trip out west. They came home. They split two with the Marlins. Now they've got this series coming up. I like this spot, you know, with the optics. And I just look at this, these little edges. This is how I've been doing it. They add up. And I think we've got some value here at minus 128, minus one and a half. You always want to shop it. But again, looking at Odd Chopper, these cross to minus 135 at a lot of books in that range. And I think it's probably where it lands. Anything inside minus 130 to me is definitely a play. Uh, I think the Phillies get to them. I think they look good tonight. They're the better team. We know that. They're minus 270. I think we all know that. Uh, and I do think laying the run and a half at minus 128 is the prudent move. So that is my that is my play. Phillies on the run line tonight. If you have any questions at all, at Jazz Raz Bets on Twitter, happy to help, happy to answer anything, whether it's a question about a game or just about a chopper and what we've got going on. I'm always around, happy to help. And then, of course, hop in Discord. Be part of this community, uh, and let's just run it up. College football is here. La Liga starts in the soccer world. There's going to be plays, and I can't wait to have some fun uh, and dig in. But set the table. Philadelphia Phillies minus a run and a half tonight. As always, thanks for tuning in. Win, lose, or draw. We're going to be doing it every day leading up to football. Uh, and on that note, let's try to right the ship and get back to business. For me, for the Nats, and for the Phillies, good luck. Enjoy your Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow to round out the work week.